thanks for seeing me on such short notice. I know we usually meet Wednesdays, but I really needed to get here sooner. Oh, that's fine. You seemed really stressed out on the phone. What's been going on? It's the cat again. I've seen him everywhere, and he won't stop bugging me. He's in crowds. He's on street corners. He just won't get away. I've even seen him just places I wouldn't okay. believe. He okay, slow down. So, so where did you first see him? Well, I had an imaginary friend, and I don't remember even making him up. He just appeared one day. It was almost like his sole purpose was to be there and take all of the boredom and darkness out of our lives and replace it with happiness. But then something strange happened. One day the cat didn't appear. It hit me kind of hard, but it hit Sally even harder. I think she loved him more than I, even I did, and it was hard on both of us. But one rainy day, he came back. He seemed different after that. What was different about the cat? What, what made it strange to you? Well, don't get me wrong, he was pretty weird to, to begin with, but you see, Hat got more and more mischievous, more twisted. He would pressure us into doing things, doing terrible things. What kind of bad things did the cat make you do? Messed up stuff. He poured bleach into our fishbowl, little by little, until our goldfish died. Um, poisoned the dog's food next door. He even got us to flush our mom's jewelry one time. Then, there was that one day. The last thing I remember about Sally. It was just another rainy day, and the cat appeared out of nowhere. Which wasn't uncommon to us at that point, but it wasn't long before the cat's plans started to change again. One thing led to another, and we were all on the roof. It was a very windy day. I wasn't paying attention. The wind was too loud. I couldn't hear anything. Sally was trying to catch up to me, and I couldn't hear her calling out to me. And one moment I was looking out, and then the next I noticed that Sally fell off the roof. I looked down, and she was laying on the concrete. And it was one last final moment before I heard Sally's voice calling out to me. And before I could turn around and realize what was happening, it was all too late. And I looked over off the side of the roof and I saw the cat was standing by. And he looked up at me and gave gave me a smile. He was he was smiling and at that point I realized that he wasn't friendly. He, he was a monster. And that was the last time you saw him, Conrad? Yes. How did your parents take it? What happened after that? Weirdly enough, it gets kind of fuzzy after that. I don't remember much except for every week I had doctor's appointments and I was made to live with my grandmother for a week or two. So before we get on about other things, let's go back to the cat. You say you've seen him again? Y yes, I have. Recently? Yes. Okay, so how recently have you been seeing him again? Oh, within yesterday he appeared and I didn't know what to think. It's, it was strange for me to see him again. Okay, well, you seem like you've been taking it pretty well, so that's good. I think maybe if we can meet more we can really talk about this together. No, I don't you want know? to talk about this. I, I just want him gone. I, all I need you to do is raise my prescription. Well, Conrad, we need to start somewhere if we're going to get a new treatment plan for you. No, it's simple. You can just give me more medicine and I can make the cat disappear. Just, I'm telling you what I need. I, I need these pills. It's the only thing. I, you just don't understand. This is all that I need. Please, you need to listen to me. This is all okay. I need to take care of him. Okay, Conrad. It's okay. It's fine. Everything is going to be fine. We'll meet soon again, okay? I'll give you a call to schedule another appointment as soon as I can. Try to relax a little now, all right? F fine. Whatever. It's 
session 37, patient 019603. First pre-session ended abruptly. And patient demanded an increased dosage of medication effective immediately. Withdrawal symptoms are not entirely impossible, however. Nowhere in past notes have such side effects been observed. Current symptoms seem irregular, a pattern inconsistent with the patient's history. One possible theory is that the cat patient is simply a hallucinatory event recurring out of a sense of wrongdoing or guilt. Uh, the cat could be a representational character that the patient portrays or, or deals with in negative situations. The patient clearly has still pained by the death of his sister, which could explain present psychological impairments and struggles with this external tormentor. It's hard to say so early on in this what direction to take the treatment in. There's no reason that antipsychotics shouldn't be working, especially with the steady increase over the years from previous psychiatrists that I'm reading here in the medical history. More time is going to be needed before finalizing a new treatment plan. One preferably drug-free has to help Conrad Lur to counsel with this inner demon. Not very good at first impressions, are you? Well, I didn't want to lie to her, and I've been on it. You see, I don't understand. You know, she would be thinking I'm even more crazy if I said that I've been seeing you for weeks now. I just want more medication so I can get you out of my life. You really think more drugs are going to do that? The truth is, no matter what you do, or where you go, what shining pills you take, I will find. You. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you out of my life. I just want to play. My gold player. I'm sick and tired of this damn cat following me everywhere. I just... I need to relax. I just need to get this over with and to loosen my mind. Jesus Christ, what are you doing here? The good thing about hallucinations is that as soon as they come, they can also leave. You know what? I might take some of these. They'll help you out. You don't know what's good for me. You you don't. You're not even real. Dr. M even said that you're not. You're a hallucination. You don't exist. Really? I'm not real. Is that why you're having such trouble getting rid of me, huh? Am I really making you crazy? You seem like that guy was crazy before you even met me. Just, just shut up. I know it's right for me, and I'm going to take these pills just to get rid of you. Just you watch. It's possible to kill off this thing in your mind. As curious as I am, you and I both know you're going to fail. Just what will it take to get rid of you? I just want you gone and out of my life. So you're suggesting and saying that I should kill the cat. Ultimately, that's what we are trying to do. What, did these pills actually work? I just, I just need to relax. I, I need to get, to get some rest. I just want to play.
What are you doing? What are you doing here? I slammed the door on you. Why won't you just leave my life? I want you dead. I want you out of my life. You don't belong in it. I am so miserable with you in my life. You have been with me since childhood. I just want you to die. Why won't you just... Feeling uneasy? A little off? Your chest tightening? The meds will do that to you. I shouldn't have to tell you not to mix medication, so I made it easy on you. One kind of medication. I replaced everything you had in all of your pills. I'm surprised you didn't notice. The thing is, though, I really was trying to help. One of the side effects is that these pills can cause some heart damage. I mean, the chances are slim, but you did take more of the recommended dose. <sighs> Looks like that stress really took a number on you. If you wouldn't have gotten so mad at me, then this wouldn't have happened. Who knows, maybe you could have even gotten rid of me if you took in more of those things. Oh well. Hello comrade, it's Dr. N, and I'm calling with some great news. Um, there's a new drug called Prograph that's coming out, and it's supposed to help with hallucination. It's actually a pretty breakthrough study, and it just got out of clinical trials. I'd like to set up another appointment with you sometime this week so that we can maybe see if you would qualify to actually have this medication. Maybe this will take care of some of the things you're going through. Anyways, call me back. Bye.